Yeah. We're about to load the latest in SPC flooring, the latest generation ABA or engineered SPC flooring. We're here at McNeil Cape Town Depot and we're going to get into the detail. This is something you're going to want to watch. All right, so Sylvan's on site. The guys are busy prepping and getting ready to get this floor down. And I've been like really scratching my head on how to best explain and describe what this new product is all about. So for me, the best way to describe it is food. And what food, you may ask? Well, burgers. We're gonna get a burger and I'm gonna get into the detail on why the burger is the best explanation for ABA SPC. Yum. So much like this menu over here, SPC, the whole category is growing and there are all these different options available. And like ABA SPC, it's a burger that's got a couple of extra layers of hot sauce and like mmm, good experiential attributes that really just elevate it beyond the basic burger. But enough about that, now it's about me and I need to get my Whopper. Hello sir, thank, thank you very much. Sir. Thank you very much. So here we have a burger. Now if we compare this to SPC, SPC would just be, by itself, would just be the patty in, in the middle. But now with ABA construction, we have a layer of vinyl, which would be the bun on the bottom, and we have another layer of vinyl, which would be the bun on the top. And what this does is it improves the experience acoustically and also a little bit of a resilient feeling under your feet when you're walking across it. Not necessary. Like you're still gonna get nutrition and sustenance from the core, but the bun and the hot sauce and the garnish is really what makes it yum. Excuse me, I'm gonna eat my burger. We'll get back to Sylvan shortly. So, for today's substrate preparation, due to the substrate moving, there's a little bit of subsidence. Uh, you know, the client is not prepared to demolish half the house to correct, unfortunately, some old faults. So today we're using the system from Mapei. We're using uh, Eco Prime Grip and an Eco 20 uh, self-leveling screed. The reason being is that we don't know 100% the integrity of the tiling adhesive. Obviously we, re we are removing as much as possible, but uh, we want to make sure that we've got a great bond between the existing substrate and the new product that we're going to be putting on top. Obviously this building is going to continue to move and that's why even if our screed does form subtle cracks our floating system our floating floor is going to be totally independent you're not going to see any of those slight movement cracks and this is the ideal situation for a floating floor one thing i really want to talk to you about is the attributes that make this product fundamentally different to other SBC products that you may not realize initially so here I have a generic SPC, one of the residential options. It's just pretty much run of the mill. Don't worry about plank size. It's more about the thickness and the acoustic underlay underneath. And here is the latest Renew uh, from McNeil. This is the one that is the ABA construction with the LBT core. So just listen to this. This is my tapping block. You hear that sound? fundamentally different. That is going to be the advantage of going for an ABA construction. The sound is a lot duller, softer, especially with dogs with clicky clack nails and where acoustics become really important. Like the burger, it's all about the hot sauce. Do you need the hot sauce? Do you want the hot sauce? Or are you just looking for a plain floor? If you're just looking for a plain floor, SPC, then that is the option for you. If you're looking for a little something extra, this is the option. All right, so I think that kind of wraps it up on describing the basic core differences between a standard SPC 
and some of the newer variants like Renew, which is an ABA or engineered construction. The differences are worthwhile. If you're just looking for a floor that's heat stable and waterproof, a generic standard option will definitely suit you. But if you're looking for that little bit, something extra, quieter, better foot feel underneath, that like hot sauce for your burger, ABA construction is the one to go for. SPC can be considered a DIY product, but you do need to know the quirks of the click mechanism and how to prepare the substrate accordingly. So as always, follow your supplier's manufacturer instructions. Be careful not to avoid your warranty and uh, good luck with your flooring project. As always, if you found this video interesting, informative, and it helped you in any way, please consider giving us a thumbs up, subscribing, sharing with a friend. We love exploring different floor types, different techniques, installation, technology, anything flooring. Yes, I am a self-confessed boring man.